Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you how to take the third power of a matrix. We're going to use the same method as we did in the previous video, but here you can begin to see the utility of doing something like this. Again, if you're going to just simply work it out, you can then first get to square the matrix by multiplying this by itself and then multiplying it by itself again. This is the result that we got from the previous video for a squared. We're going to multiply this times a to find a cubed. This is therefore equal to, this is uh, 35 plus 64, that would be, let's see, that's a positive 35 and a minus 64, that's minus 29. Here we have a negative 56, and this would be 70, that's 112. Oh boy, let's just make sure I don't make any mistakes here. So negative 56 and uh, plus 7 times 16 equals a positive 56. All right, so now we have 40 minus, uh, that's 40, that's 68, 40, 68, that's a minus 28. And then here we have a negative 64 and a positive, well, let's see here, 64 negative and plus 17 times 7 equals and positive 55. All right, so that's a cubed the old-fashioned way. The new way, using the power method, we can say that a to the third power is equal to, that would be the p matrix times the diagonalized matrix cubed times the inverse of p. Of course, p we already have, that's this matrix right here. So a cubed is equal to P, which is 2, 1, 1, 1. The diagonalized matrix cubed, now based upon the definition of the D matrix, D is then equal to the eigenvalues in the diagonal, which is negative 1 and 3. And then, of course, D cubed is simply each of the elements cubed. That gives you minus 1, 27, 0, and 0, which goes over here. Minus 1, 0, 0, 27. Oh, missing the 7 here. And now we also need the inverse of P. If P is equal to that, the inverse of P is equal to 1 over the determinant times these elements interchanged and negative signs on these. And it turns out from doing it on the last video, we know that the determinant is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 divided by 1 is 1, and the inverse of the matrix is simply equal to this. And that goes over here. And now we go ahead and multiply these together and see what we get. That's negative 2 plus 0. 0 plus 27. Negative 1 plus 0 and 0 plus 27. And now we multiply that times the third matrix. And this gives us, and again, the result should be exactly the same as what we have over there. Negative 2, negative 27 is negative 29. 2 plus 54 is 56. Negative 1 minus 27 is minus 28. And 1 plus 54 is 55. And when we take a look, sure enough, that looks exactly the same. So you can see that method works quite nicely. Again, you might say, well, a cubed, it's much easier simply just to take the matrix and multiply that with itself three times. However, with higher powers, you can see that this can definitely be a better method. Now, on the next video, we'll show you a more general case of this methodology. You can then see for higher powers how nice it is to use this method instead. That's how it's done.